Tell me a little bit about your intimate life. Um, like just, just touching. Just touching or like cuddling when we go to, before we go to sleep. The height, that's the peak, that's the climax right there. That is not a climax, my <laughs> That is, I'm telling you, it's I'm a low-budget film. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's a low-budget <laughs> film. That is Hey guys, today we're talking Married at First Sight, episodes 5 through 8. And Season uh, 13. Yep, and they're on the honeymoon. Yeah. yeah, it's finally getting interesting, man. I know last week when we talked about this stuff, I was like, man, show's boring as hell. I'm not digging it, but now? now it's I mean, some, some of the wedding stuff is pretty good, but you know. Yeah, they're not really. It gets more exciting they, they, now. They, they draw it out too much. That's the fun. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. it, man. Yeah, that's exactly They it. need to speed that process up for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. they need to speed every episode up, really, to be honest with you. They're yeah. all too long, but... But now these, now these, these uh, honeymoon ones are pretty damn good, though, man. Yeah, I mean, for some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some people not not so, much. so much for others. Right. No. Oh man. Like for instance, uh, Zach's uh, missing in action most of uh, yeah, the poor, honeymoon. Poor here. Zach, man. Dude catches the COVID. Got the COVID. Yeah, and then uh, you know, and he's out of commission, man. And then you know, you got his girl is like, she's almost like, hey, I don't give a shit, whatever. I'll catch COVID with you, man. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I thought it was a little odd where he was confirmed and she was like three feet from him or whatever. Yeah. Like not even wearing masks or nothing. Yeah, I mean, exactly. they're covering their mouth, I guess. But what I don't understand about that situation was one, let's just talk about how like he said he had a friend that canceled last minute that didn't go to the wedding because he had COVID. Mm -hmm. And then they had this wedding and this is like two days later and he tests positive. It's like, hey, you might want to let everybody know that was at that wedding. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sure, I'm sure they did. <laughs> and they literally had just yeah. had like sex the night before so they're sleeping yeah. in the same bed swapping spit they're you well, know Michaela didn't get it she's bulletproof yeah, she didn't right. get it but what she I don't positive man <laughs> what I don't understand Maybe. is there's so so many different ways they could have handled that situation they could have gotten two adjacent rooms they could have sat on the balcony and like made it a romantic like getting to know each other for so nobody got time for that well, it's, well it sounds like she kind of wanted that and he was like no nope, no nope, I want you to be safe you need to go back to Houston yeah, so that I, think, I, think, I didn't like yeah, I, was I, think, like, I, think, I think she was trying to go that route and he was just like no nah, we're not having that you need to go I just feel bad that they were chipped out of a honeymoon. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyways, Johnny has some issues with Bao snoring. He pokes yeah. fun at it, but Bao don't like that. Yeah, I mean, she's super uh, insecure about it, yeah. and you know, she wasn't digging him, making fun of it. Even though, even though the way he was doing it, I thought was kind of well, that was playful. Yeah, it was and playful, okay. exactly. But it is, but it's an insecurity exactly. for her. And yeah. anyone who's got an insecurity, something that they're already self aware that they don't like about themselves, anyone even. You know, just touches that. touches that in any it doesn't matter what kind of playful way he was doing it. It's going to bother her. But he didn't know how big of an insecurity it exactly. was. So and but then she lets him know. And he's like, hmm, well, and okay. that's the thing, right? That's the thing they both say throughout this whole process. They're great communicators. And they are right. I mean, they're, yeah. both of them are really open with each other about what bothers them, what doesn't. You know, I mean, later on, we'll find a little bit different about Johnny. But for the most part, they seem pretty well, uh, pretty well communicative on. On, yeah, hey, I like when you do that. I don't like when you do that. This kind of aggravates me. And they have me, so. uncomfortable conversations. Yeah, yeah, big time. You know, that most couples just try to avoid. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we also learned that Bow's Hall Pass is Conan O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> of all people. <laughs> and Johnny's like, shit, you don't need a Hall Pass for that. I, I, I want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's an odd pick, but yeah, okay. No doubt, I mean, yeah. hey, I, mean, I like it. I'm yeah, Conan, man. Yeah, dude, I like Conan. Hell yeah. Hey, mine's Nicolas Cage, and some people think that's crazy. Which dude's yeah. your Hall yeah. Pass, Billy? What's that? Which dude's your Hall Pass? Yeah, no dudes, man. No dudes? You no. got a check for a hall pass? Or you got to think about it? No Brad Pitt? No Tom know. Cruise? No. no Nick Cage? Can I interest man. you in some Nick Cage? Henry Cavill? <laughs> what are we talking? Henry Cavill's a man. Dude. I like some Henry Cavill, man. There you go. See? See? Season Someone's three. got everybody. Se <laughs> yeah. Season three of The Witcher's out, man. I've been I'm already watching the first couple episodes of that. Yeah, yeah, who cares about The Witcher? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> who's your hall pass, Josh? I don't know. So many. Mike Myers. So many. Uh, anybody. Josh, anybody. Josh Dickinson and Mike Myers, man. Anyone who rings the doorbell. <laughs> now, they serve some breakfast to Merla, but she's not too happy that she don't got her protein, and she oh, wants dude. to know what kind of milk it is. Merla Mirla's the pickiest person on the planet, dude. It's so hilarious. Every time like, every time she gets something, or even he tries doing something for her, she's always got something to complain about. None of it's ever like, oh, this is great. But it's he like, has, what the hell is this? He has the patience of a saint. Oh, he does, man. Dude. He just yeah. thinks it's hilarious. And at first, I'm oh, like, is he just kind of acting? Dude. 
dude. He was amazing. They, they, but he's not. I think he genuinely thinks it's cute and yeah, funny. By mashing those uh, two up, know. man, like they, they, <laughs> that's I, the I was, only one that can deal with it. Oh, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like the freaking the sociologist, whatever she was, Doctor Pepperman, she got it right by mashing those two up because he's the only person exactly who can deal with it. Yeah. I mean, she's got her own little milk tester. Like she could have just tasted it for herself, but she's like, "What kind of milk is this?" Yeah. <laughs> that, I think that's yeah, regular milk. She ain't out of milk. I ain't having it. <laughs> Yeah, huh. so He's I don't again. know. She she tends to dislike more things than she likes. Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. absolutely. So. Yeah, she is definitely a pessimistic type person. She sure is only no optimist when it comes to just stuff that she likes and doesn't like nitpick about, man. And I do think he, he thinks it's funny and cute. I do think oh, yeah. that will no, wear either. off. But right yeah. now, I do think that's what he, he thinks. He does to an extent, right? He's, yeah. He still has his limits where he's like, all right, that's kind of ridiculous. Man. Right. Like, super patient. Oh, dude, no doubt, man. I get, I'm I, falling in love with Gil. Yeah. I mean, that is so yeah, good. Awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah Gil is awesome. And Merla doesn't kiss on the first, second, or even the third date. Fifth, sixth, seventh, <laughs> tenth. <laughs> no, she, She's never kissed anyone her entire right. life. Right. She just ain't kissing, man. She's like, maybe our tenth anniversary or something <laughs> like that. Maybe. Right. Is there an anniversary that's the gift, is a kiss? You yeah, know, it's yeah, like exactly, there's silver, right. there's paper, right. there's wood, there's all these oh, things. Man. But, you know, and then, <laughs> but what's kind of interesting, they're all hanging by the pool, and Gil says, Me, I treat it like a toddler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're going to tire themselves out eventually. So I just wait it out and then, or feed her, and then we good. And I was surprised. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, even who was it, man? It was about, it was like, oh, some of the stuff Gil saying about her. I don't think she appreciated it. She was here. Yeah, he was pretty open about all that. Oh, yeah. She actually seems to take his critique of her just as lighthearted as. As, oh, yeah. you know, I'm surprised she doesn't it, yeah. go over yeah. the top and get pissed yeah, off. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. get mad about really anything. She just no. tells you she doesn't like anything. Well, she says several times, like onto the camera on the one on ones, like she enjoys their banter, right? She's like, yeah. yeah, it's playful. I enjoy it. So I was like, man, it's, it's good. And I do like how Gil's pretty honest, even though there's some issues there. Yeah. Which oh, yeah. He tries to deal with. I don't know. The guy's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Can't say it enough. I like Gil. Yeah, but even like, uh, you know, he got her her ice cream. I mean, she's bitching. She's like, oh, ice cream? Is it, is it dairy free? He's like, it's your gelato. Yeah, it's vegan. She's like, oh, yeah. He's like, you said you wanted gelato. Oh, it's too did. chocolatey. It's too, too chocolatey. Too chocolatey. <laughs> yeah, it was going so positive. And then she's like, uh, I got to mention it's too chocolatey. Yeah, I got to say something bad about and it. And she doesn't hold back too much either. She's like, you know, the key to my heart are gifts. Yep. <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. and I'm like, dang. Yeah. Not a, like, not a like, crocheted like, rug. Like, I got to get you a Cartier bracelet. <laughs> she's like, Yes. I like I like how you're talking. Keep going. Like not, Go on. <laughs> shoes always help. That's right. <laughs> or a thousand dollar shoes. Oh man. Yeah, and Jose and Rachel are getting along pretty well during all yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, Jose and Rachel, man. They, that Adam, Jose's awesome good. too. Another oh, yeah, good, good dude, man. Out of, out of all the couples, those two are definitely hitting out the best, I think, on, on all cylinders, right? You know, so I think uh, I mean you can tell he's got some issues with her mm -hmm. finance stuff. You know, yeah, they talk about finances, but, and that's always a sore oh, yeah, point. I mean, it is. I mean, that dude's super uptight about money, and you know what? I mean, it, for all the right reasons, all right. I mean, he wants to make sure that they're set for their future. You know, and they start talking about joint accounts, and she's like, "It sounds like you're giving me an allowance." <laughs> <laughs> I think, and 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 later interviews with her, I think she she's worried about it because she doesn't want to be, feel like she's been given an allowance and she's been able to yellow this whole time, but. He is what she needs. Oh, yeah. She he needs to kind of rein her in a little bit, and she is what he needs. Uh -huh. You know, because he's too uptight about money. Right. And like sometimes you've got to splurge what, a little. Yeah, you know, as a pastor Cal tells him, and that's what his stepmom says too, right? Yeah. So, so I think that that eventually they both seem open to the conversation. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I, I think whether I, it comes down to so, they do it, I don't know. <laughs> she likes to take her trips like every year. I mean, yeah, she could, loves to travel. Yeah, and he he's put, like, that's a lot of money. Yeah, if he could. I mean, if he could like compromise, like, all right, how about every two years? Every quarter you know, we'll yeah. go somewhere yeah. low key. Yeah, there you go. Or like every yeah. every two years we'll take a big trip, you know, mm -hmm. to Europe or wherever, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm I think sure, they I'm can sure work it out, you know. Yeah, and, exactly. and and I think as long as she gets her separate pot of money, she's probably fine. But if yeah. like he, she constantly has to go to him to ask for. Something. That's a problem. That's probably going to be an issue. Oh, yeah. When he, you know, of course, he wants to always take care of her. You know, she still likes her independence a little bit. And, you know, she's not about getting fed too much. You know, it's, and no. I mean, they, they, Mirlo, that's like an issue too. But like, if she yeah. can spend all that money and save, is it really a problem? Right. Because her savings yeah. account is much bigger than his, right? When they look at each other's bank accounts, Mirlo's got the big savings account I and everything. I don't see so. it being as big of an issue. They're making out of I, she I, I keep that. seeing that and thinking that too. But then I think, Okay, but they are joining two households. His yeah. standards aren't up to her standards, and his income clearly isn't up to her income. So, yeah, like, okay. what kind of house are they going to get? 
Right. You know what I mean? Because he's not going to be able to contribute and the much dog. to that pot. And, and the then, dog. Oh, the, the dog, dog is a big game. Dog. Robert, man. I'll tell you what I did not like about that is, I don't know if Gil did it, but somebody cropped that dog's ears, man. I'm not about that. That's messed up, you know? Yeah, the dog's ears yeah, are messed cropped. Up, dude. Yeah. Maybe like, he man. adopted the dog. Yeah, maybe, maybe he did, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't want to hit on Gil about this. He might have just adopted the dog like that, but you don't, you don't do that, man. That's, that's not cool. What yeah. about the drooling? Yeah, well, it's a big dog, and, you yeah. know, it probably is going to be a problem because that dog is probably going to have an odor that, you know, she she mm-hmm. probably doesn't like that. and. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of dog that looks like it sheds quite a bit. That's oh, probably yeah. going to be an issue, too. Oh, so. yeah, dogs shed like but, but I don't like her attitude. It was like, I'm not going to walk the dog. Like, she just says that out front. Like, why? You can't take the dog out yeah. five That's minutes. That's my dog walker. Well, and, he, and he hits it right <laughs> on the head. She's like, you know what? We'll just keep paying for dog walker. He's like, That's a waste of money. He's, yeah. like, he's like, If you're at the freaking house, you take the damn dog for a walk a couple times a day. Right. You know? There's an so. able body at the house. Right. To take like, the you dog can't for a walk. do this for our relationship. Like, right, exactly. come on. Now, granted, what I will say is that. She came into this relationship without a dog, never liking dogs. So now she's getting a dog forced on her. So I get what she's saying. But at the same time, it's like, come on, you compromise a little bit and take this damn dog for a walk. Every yeah, day. Half I, these I people have dogs. She, you know? I do yeah. think she will come around. But honestly, I she's being, you know, she's being Mirla about it, right? right but, yeah. um, you know, I was kind of in the same situation when I got married and two dogs. And I didn't have a dog at the time. And, like, the dogs really were a priority. And they were, like, just a pet to me at that point. But it had, like, it took a little bit, but they grew on me, and now I love dogs a lot. you got to be there willing go. to open yourself up to that, though. Right. Yeah. That's the question. Is she... Right. Because when, when she says, I'm not even going to take it for a walk, that's not a good sign no, that she's not even open to well, it. Gil even flat out said that's a problem. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm not cool with that. You know, I don't right. even know... If, like, if you're like that, I don't even know if I want to continue getting to know and you And I better. like that he and said that, that too, because he right. has some lines. He's like, yeah. you know, kissing's one thing, and I'll tolerate that for so long, but yeah. this is an right. issue. Well, that's like, his baby. My do- my you're dog's not giving up your dog. Like, yeah. I would never expect anyone to give up their their dog or their cat or, you know, mm-hmm. anything. It's like asking someone to give I mean, up their kid. It'd be, one thing, it'd be one thing if she has, like, a super bad allergy to, you know, to the animals or something. It's like, okay, I can get that. But she doesn't, you know, so. Or if the dog was, like, maybe aggressive and, right. like, you know, there were some safety concerns. But. Yeah, that didn't seem to be the case here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so there's some cracks starting to show in, like, Johnny and Bao. Like, the snoring is kind of taking on a life of its own. And, like, also, he has an issue. He's got, like, one thing that bothers him is, like, cleanliness. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want, like, a dirty bed. Oh, yeah. No. And yeah, then he- Bao's kind of like, sometimes I just don't want to shower. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, sometimes I get I'm tired as hell from work or whatever. I come home and I just want to jump in bed. And Johnny's sometimes like, she doesn't even change her clothes. Well, she said, and Johnny's showering, like, three times a day, man. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I- and, you know, here, I'm actually on Johnny's side with this one because it's like, he does compromise a little. He's like, hey, okay, well, you're going to clean the sheets or whatever, you know? And yeah. you can tell it bothers. He's like, I got one rule. And he's and yeah. she's talking about, like, what if I work out and then get in the bed? Yeah, like, that's, that's pretty nasty. That's, bad, yeah. Yeah. that's no nasty. Doubt. I'm with Johnny on that one. Like, if you're going to work <laughs> out, go take a shower. I get it. He, like, he didn't even say you had to wash. He's like, just rinse off. He's like, go yeah. get into the water and rinse off. Yeah. You know? And I get so. if she's a morning shower person. And not a night shower person, but like again, any and he said any activity where you're sweating, you're mm-hmm. outside, and things like that. And I think everyone can kind of agree with that. Yeah, no, I, um, I, I, I think, think so. a good compromise because I I also get where she's coming from. And sometimes you just want to be lazy, and then if you're lazy going to bed, you probably might want to be lazy waking up and not wash the sheets. Like have an extra bedroom. And that could be your dirty bed. <laughs> I don't oh, know. So, uh, she, she said that. I mean, she's a couple times said, "Hey, I'll go sleep in the other room." Yeah, the couch and though, that's like, still no, a no, common no, area. Me. Now yeah. you're now you're just making the couch dirty. Yeah. So go yeah, ahead. I don't like the couch thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think that was a good solution. But an extra bed, you know, and then she can wash those sheets once a week. That's or something setting like up that. A, a dangerous precedent, though. Yeah, no, it is. True. Sure. Anyway, she's and she, like I said, she is offered to sleep in the other bed several times, and Johnny's like, "No, I want to sleep with you." She's like, okay. He wants yeah, dirty bow, but he doesn't want dirty really bow. They really showed right, exactly. how bad the snoring is, except for on the flight. Yeah, that was like, pretty dang loud. Right. If that was, like, no kidding real, and that was almost some, like, fake noise yeah. was on there, that was bad. That, that was, was like, pretty oh, bad. bad. And, right. like, it might even be worse in the bed than there. So right, right. that I that I got to talk nervous. about this, because that really <laughs> bothered me. That took place, that him recording her snoring on the plane took place after the conversation where she yeah, said exactly. she was very vulnerable about that. Mm-hmm. And that she didn't like to be made fun did of. Did he record it or did... He no, he, yeah, he had Well, maybe thing. they tell him, like, hey, I need footage of probably. stuff on the plane. They probably told him to do it. Uh, well, don't do it over snoring. Well, I, I'm wondering why the, they didn't have any other footage. Because I thought they put, like, a camera even when they're sleeping or whatever, but maybe not. How yeah. come we never got footage of the panic attack that Brett I want to see that, too. I know. Right. Yeah, we, yeah, we, should, we got to see Bal snoring. Why not Brett's panic attack? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe it's during takeoff and landing where no electronics were. Uh, Dang oh, it. Oh, that's probably it. Yeah, you're probably right. 
they kind of get together, all of them, and they're discussing politics, and it seems to be like a hot button issue for some people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah it was, man. Samirla so definitely had a problem with it. She was like, "Nope, I would never date a Republican. If you're a Republican, Gil, give me that friggin' divorce check." And yeah. Brett says it's an issue too. Mm-hmm. And yeah. what's weird is like Ryan's like, "That's not a deal breaker." Don't bother him. Yeah. yeah, the women seem to have a problem, but the guys are like, "Whatever, I don't care." You know, we, that's something. You know, you have your politics. I got mine. I don't give a shit who you're voting for. You know, but- I think that's pretty scary to like. If we aren't on the same politics, then we are just incompatible. I yeah. mean, yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. Man. I get the reason. I guess it depends it, what though. what the issue really is, but right. that, I think that's just a problem in general for people. Well, like, I, there's got to be a compromise. Well, and I see, and I, and I like how Ryan was explaining. It. He said, "Look, dude, if there if there's a guy that's going to help me out in my profession, he's like, I'm going to vote for him. I don't I don't yeah. care if he's a Democrat or Republican. If he's if his policies are helping me out in my job and what I do, then I'm going to vote for that guy." But right? you can't always just so, look about yourself. Well, no, you can't. But and then someone says that. Yeah, Brad, I think Brett said that. She's like, look, they just about it. Or maybe it's Mirla one of them. I said, think that's Mirla's problem, too. Like, she's constantly looking out for herself. Like, that's why the dog's right. an issue, because it interferes with my life. She even says so I'm about Mirla's adopting kids. And I think it's like, because it's about yeah. her, I think. It is about her, yeah. Because, I think she's I mean, even the one that in her said apartment, that it's she's not got, just about her, though. She's got all the pictures of herself up in her oh, apartment. Yeah. So she's really in love with herself. I mean, Mirla is a very selfish person. I'm not about it. Yeah. Yeah, super selfish. So, I think she's however, the one that pointed it out, though. <laughs> however... She, even though she's super selfish, she does see the nice stuff that Gil's doing for her. And she even says it. She's like, look, I love he's doing this nice stuff for me. He's being patient with me, yada, yada, yada. And then she gets in that big plate of cookies, right? So it's like, yeah, you know, that was cool. Yeah. That was cool that she finally did oh, something yeah. for Gil. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was a good plate yeah, of cookies. So for, I was, I was so wanting for, a chocolate chip cookie <laughs> after that. That, that freaking thing was as big as her head, man. She's holding it yeah. up like, damn, oh, a big cookie. Now, so as selfish as she is, she still does think about other people, right? At least her husband, you know, so. Yeah. I don't, so, uh, anything else to note with the honeymoons? Any of the activities? I thought the paragliding thing was really cool. Paragliding yeah, was cool. That was cool. I mean, I've, I've done paragliding, and, and it, like for the first five minutes, it's fun, and then after that, it's like, all right, I'm, I've seen it, I'm good, you know. Okay, you got to talk about Marilla and her plane ride. Like she did not want to go on oh, that. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the seaplane. Yeah, you so know, she compromised. I guess she compromised once. Bit. She did yeah. say she didn't like it. She did want to land. She didn't yeah. enjoy it, but she did it. Exactly. And he handled her not enjoying it very well. Yeah, he did. <laughs> And then it was funny. She's like, hey, I'm a whiner. You know, I'm going to whine. <laughs> he's like, I, I noticed. It's fine. It's fine. At least she's very self-aware. Oh, yeah. Oh, no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. She, she knows who she is. No doubt about it. Yeah. So it's not like she's like, no. Well, and, although sometimes he keeps calling her bougie and she's like, really? You yeah. think I'm bougie? Well, see, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that's why it works out so well because she is self-aware. She's willing to admit it. So the fact that he jokes with her about it all, she's cool with it because she's like, yeah, I know I'm that way. Right. You know, so. And then you had Brett, you know have a mini panic attack around the manatee. Oh, yeah. yeah and no it wasn't panic. really a panic attack, but like, yeah, she, but she, again, was willing to get out there and mm-hmm. do something that was outside of her comfort zone for her spouse. Right, so Ryan, was, and Ryan cool. was appreciative of that. And what I will say about this, too, is like the, that first, I mean, you and I, who was it, you and I, or I guess Josh was kind of thought Ryan was all right, but the first four episodes, Ryan was very quiet. We didn't hear much from him, and I was like, this guy's boring. He's opened up big time now, right? Yeah. Ryan's talking a lot. You know, he's joking around. Like, Ryan's on my top of my list now. Very he's a dry dude, sense man. of humor. Like, I he love says his humor. it. Dry, yeah. yeah, I like it. Too. She says it. She's like, you know, Ryan's got a dry sense of humor. But at least he's opening now, saying a lot of stuff and talking, and we're actually getting to see some of, some of Ryan and say, hey, Ryan's a good dude, man. Yeah, she's like, I like having you here to be this. And he's like, well, I'm glad, you know, you got that going for you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> like little comments yeah, like that. Yeah. It's <laughs> like she, she made her feel safe on the plane. He was like, I didn't do anything, but okay. Like, yeah, I was in control of the plane. <laughs> I tried to make a big deal of the Johnny paddle boat and thing, and I'm like, that boat is nowhere close to hitting him. I'm like, what? Yeah, like, yeah. the boat's coming, Johnny. Like, yeah. well, yeah, but, but Johnny was way the hell out there. <laughs> that, dude, that dude could not turn his paddle boat around. He, you know, he was like a paddle board. And he was like, you know, they're like, Johnny, turn that shit around. <laughs> He's the only one that went in the water. Yeah. The fact I think the rest of them was never actually oh, fell off the boat. Well, they didn't show us anyway, but. but uh, many of the girls like stayed on the boat. They didn't want to really get involved mm-hmm. with that. So. But that, yeah, Johnny finally figured it out. He sat down on it. He's like, all right, cool. I got this. He's treated it like kayak at that oh, point. Yeah. right? So he was good. Yeah. Well, Ryan was thinking about like. <laughs> putting the rescue lot together. All right. Hold my beer. <laughs> I'll go rescue the Johnny. <laughs> Then they pack up and head back to Texas. And some of those apartments are pretty nice. Oh, yeah, dude. In that apartment Those complex. Yeah, nice. man, got that Even nice sky, Mira sky was view. impressed. Yeah, that was right. When she said it's nice, it's like, all right, you know it's nice. I don't think she complained. Oh, she complained about the bed. It was a queen-size bed. Yeah, she wants a queen-size bed. bed. I mean, yeah. but I get it. 
Cause he, I get a nice well, view. Well, cause, well, it's funny because even even uh, Gil was like, "All right," he's like, "Hey, this is nice. This is like this is like your type of bougie." <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "Yes, I approve." <laughs> so, Who was it though? I think it was Bow. Bow, Bow was not that impressed. With she it doesn't like an electric stove. Oh, right, there yeah. was the vent wasn't right. It, it, yeah, and John, I'm not Johnny, a big Johnny's fan of electric like, stoves too, but yeah. I mean, it gets the job done. Oh, yeah, John, Johnny's like, "Man, you're like expecting the hell out of this place." <laughs> <laughs> She's like going through every cabinet yeah, initially, right. and he's like, mm. <laughs> "Yeah." Oh, man. But they are. But they were they were nice. nice apartments, though, man. Yeah. I mean, the view you can't beat it, man. Yeah. Like the skyline of freaking all all downtown uh, Houston. I was like, man, it's nice. Yeah. And I like that they're all in the same city in the same apartment complex, so they mm-hmm. can like really bond with each other and ask each other for advice, and yeah. you know, they're all going through the same experiment or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know, and of course, you know, and then they do have that, right? They get the meeting where the guys get together and the girls get together and they kind of chat and Johnny, man, he just uh. No, but he's, he, you know, he starts crying a little bit there, right? And he gets with uh, who's it, Jose. You know, Jose and Johnny are like, uh, they're like brothers almost at this point, right? Jose's like, man, I yeah. love Johnny. He's like my boy, man. And then, John, you know, he's getting some advice from him. And uh, and I like that advice Jose gives him, man. He's just, uh, he's a good dude, man. Yeah. But and, he doesn't, Johnny doesn't spend the first night there. No, he yeah. doesn't. Because, you know, issues he, crop up. He mm-hmm. needs he needs time to reflect. Yeah. He needs some space. Well, it's because of the dirty bed issue. And yeah. she's, she wasn't willing to compromise. She's like. He's like, I just had the thir- the thing with the bed. And she's like, well, I'm not on board with that. And he's like, Why? She, she, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, she flat out says, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. and I yeah. think that was kind of messed up oh, yeah. for her. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah it was. Just no. flat out say that. I mean, yeah. from what it looked like, did they just land? Or did they just fly and they just land? And mm-hmm. like, yeah, you just know, check into that. And maybe he's in. like, you know, we've just been through an airport. There's COVID out there. We need a shower before we lay down. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised Johnny just took off there. but uh, yeah. And they probably could have like, talk that through more like i don't know if she was that set on it but she made it sound like that and that's kind of the problem with some of these guys you know yeah well i I think for her it was just like he was basically she felt probably felt that he was like just trying to tell her hey you're gonna do this she's like no i'm not you know he needs a reset yeah exactly so he leaves and right that's (laughs) You know, and, and the thing is with this experiment, right? It's like, nah, you, you don't, you know, in, in a marriage, you know, when you're down to one household, there's no, I could just leave. I got another house to go to. Yeah, these people do, but they shouldn't be treating it that way, right? They should be yeah, treating right. it as real marriage. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? We got to talk this out, you know, or hell, I'll sleep on the couch tonight or whatever. I'm upset, but you are these go one house. bedroom condos or is there a second bedroom they could go lay in? I thought there was a second bedroom. Man. That's what I think, yeah. too. Yeah, I think there's a second uh, bedroom. I think so. They look pretty big. So, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. at least. I mean, at the bare same. minimum, at least do they, that. They should, see, if they've seen the show, they should probably have a rule of like, hey, no leaving to mm-hmm. go to your own apartment. That's kind of like, we're married. Exactly. You know, and let's treat it as such. Yeah. yeah. And, and the show should have that rule. The show should be like, no, if you're going to sign up for this, you're going to stick it out. You're going to stay in that damn apartment with me. They should fumigate their their old places so like they can't. It's toxic. <laughs> they can't go back. They go, they go check out each other's places though, and that's kind of interesting. Old Baxter like doing the little parkour everything <laughs> everywhere for an old dog. Oh, that was like, kind of yeah. cool. Parkour. <laughs> <laughs> parkour. <laughs> but they got along right right away. Well, ba- like, well yeah, Baxter was, ba- Baxter was getting a little snippy, right? But you know, mm-hmm. not with not I, with Ryan though. No, no, not with, with his yeah. dog. Yeah. I like how they zoomed in like on yeah. Baxter as they first saw the dog. <laughs> 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 I like they had the puppy Back- love song going on like at first because it was all and then all of a sudden Baxter snaps it. Mm-hmm. The- and then Brett's getting all worked up about it and then Ryan's like, dude, like she just needs to chill out. Yeah. It's, it's ain't that big deal, right? You know, Mel- <laughs> Melodrama. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, she sees the deer head and his. <laughs> <laughs> <has that face. laughs> Did you kill that? Well, yeah, I killed it. He's like, I'm not just hanging up some random deer head. Today. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't kill things. So <laughs> yeah, and he's like, maybe we'll move that to like the garage or yeah. something. So. I and that, and that, that was he cool. Said yeah, that. Exactly. I, yeah. And he's like, yeah, it didn't have to be in the house. I can hang in the garage. Man. And then yeah. in true Ryan humor, he's like, you know, when Baxter goes in a timeout for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in <laughs> Baxter's timeout room, yeah, snapping at my dog. <laughs> we'll put it in that room. And then we see Jose's place, and it's pretty nice. Oh yeah, dude, Jose got a nice house, man. Doesn't and it's very, and he wasn't kidding, man. His shit is very, very like systematically set up to where everything's got its place. I was like, man, that dude is just... It's funny because she sees it. She's like, man, this is a nice place. But then she sees the white the board. board. <laughs> <laughs> the board. Oh, dude, well, then he's like, yeah, you told me you got something like this. She's like, no. Nah. <laughs> it's funny, too, because she seems horrified. And he's like, I can kind of set you up with something. <laughs> She's like, Bro, I'll get you your own white board. Well, because, well, because when she told him, no, I don't have one, the look on his face, he was like, oh... Well, but well, we can fix yeah. that. I'm, I'm gonna hook and she's you up, like, you know? I don't think you're getting it, man. <laughs> Jose, most people don't have, have a this. whiteboard <laughs> like that. <laughs> maybe like, an oh. app, maybe a spreadsheet, but right, there's right. not a room that's the finance room right, with the whiteboard. whiteboard. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Merla's uh, place is pretty nice too, yeah. and oh, her closet, bro. Holy cow! 
Man, she had that woman had like shoe after shoe after shoe, and they were almost in her boxes too. Man, she didn't have them like set out. There was shoe boxes up there and everything. I was like, damn. All name brand, like mm-hmm. high end. Kind of a tiny yeah. apartment though. It's yeah. like and almost he, like she should probably spend more on an apartment than her shoes. I she think, doesn't need the space. She needs the clothes <laughs> and the shoes. Right. One thing Gil's making fun of me. He's like, man. He's like, who the hell has ever heard of a hanger that holds seven pairs of jeans? <laughs> And she's got 15 of them. Right. <laughs> I thought Rachel's place was a little bit more tidy than I was anticipating because they kind of made it seem like she was a slob. Yeah, but her place right. was pretty well. But he walked for, right into the fried yeah. empty water bottle. He didn't like that. Almost trip over this crap. That was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, acted like he was being smothered by like right. trash just falling out. It's <laughs> all this clutter. Damn near tripped on myself oh, walking nice. in. Yeah, but that wasn't near as bad as, as I thought. No, so. I loved her. But I think she did some prep because candles well, were yeah, going and stuff. It, it, so. she cleaned up I loved there, no her doubt. globe with the piece of papers. Mm, that, that was, was cool. an excellent yeah. idea. Jose like, was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> he was not I Jose was there. trying to be nice. Yeah. He was like, mm. nah, we ain't doing that. But to compromise, they could have the big extravagant globe, and then they could have like... A smaller one where they do just smaller trips. So, yeah. like, they could pick their destination. Well, he's like, I'm thinking New York, Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas ain't cheap, man. Right. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, it's much cheaper in Japan or whatever. But, uh, that was, neither is New York. But um, I don't Spain, know if that pencil collection is going to make it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't blame Jose on that. I'm like, he's like, how many damn pencils you need? And I was like, yeah, I agree with you on that one. But if that's, her coll- <laughs> if that's what she collects and that's her, like, souvenir. Yeah. From- yeah, yeah and it keeps track of, like, maybe, like, put, get some kind of, like, display case for them so it can be yeah. like hey a memory like i get it you can't just make her get rid of them but yeah, no yeah, he's like and he was nice he's like you know he's like it kind of sucks seeing all this he's like we can figure out places for stuff in my house he's like she got a lot of stuff like the attic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now zach and michaela were pretty strong until like oh, apparently yeah. zach kind of takes off yeah, without telling her and you then, always kiss your wife goodbye. Yeah, anyway. When it sucks, it's it's become such a huge anything. issue. When it sucks, too, she started off so right, man. He shows up out of the blue with the roses and all that, hands her the flowers. She's all happy. But yeah, the next morning, man, he gets up. And, and she got him gifts after the COVID thing and stuff. So everything oh, yeah. is going pretty sleep. good. It wasn't just that he left. He didn't sleep in bed because he fell asleep uh, on, the couch. With his, on the couch with his dog. Which, hey, that's understandable. But at the same time, again, you get up in the morning, you give your wife a goodbye kiss before you head out the door to go do whatever you get. So do. is this a misunderstanding? Should he have communicated more? What What's the Sh- it's yeah. a misunderstanding. He should have communicated. I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to disturb her, but he could have left a note, something, exactly. you know. Could have responded to her could have, re- you know, communicated better. Did she overreact? Hell yes. Oh, yeah. no <laughs> she was, she's like, I'm out. Well, especially after. The slamming uh, on the yeah. table? Whatever well, she slammed on the table? Yeah, I was like, what, what? what made she that, doesn't have any facts What made her. that whole situation the worst is like that day before, they had just had a conversation. And he was asking her, he's like, hey, how do you respond to conflict? Do you leave and all that? She's like, nope, I don't do that. I don't believe that. I think that's abandoning the person. It's abusive. It's abusive. And then the next morning, I'm out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she got two bags like five minutes after she realizes he's gone. <laughs> Yeah, that is, that is, I don't know. That's... Yeah, so, I mean, for him, I'm, I'm like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was a big, big, big red flag, right? Because you yeah. just told me you don't do that. And now here you are, first morning, bouncing out. He's not yeah. letting that, right? He's holding on to that no, flag. He is holding on to that. <laughs> and, and then they all kind of meet with Pastor Cal. I love Pastor Cal. He's Dude, awesome. Pascal's awesome. He yeah. asked the question. I love the way he asked the question. It gets personal. He's oh, yeah. like, yeah, you had like, sex like, yet? Sex, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get into that. Like, yeah, yeah get into it. Yeah, y- 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 y'all are married now. He's the best. He oh, yeah. asked Marilla, you know, and Gail, uh, have you kissed? And then, nope. He's like, well, I and saw the cheek like, of the wedding, you know. And, <laughs> and of course, the look on Pastor Cal's face, he's like, huh? Yeah, you like, Come kissed? on now, guys. Come yeah. on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Marilla's like, I'm just, that's not me, you know. And then, of course, well, you know, and then, of course, you know, he's even asking her friends about it. Like, hey, yo, uh, yo, did this chick, uh, and of course, her friend's like, uh, yeah. I've never seen her kiss <laughs> anyone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that she, she has loves herself anyone. too much. If oh, she yeah. could kiss herself, then yeah. And then, well, and then he tells Pastor Cal, I did give her an ultimatum, right? Like she, because I asked her, hey, do you think you can make it all the way to decision day without kissing me? And she, and she tells me, probably. He's like, so I put my foot down on that and said, nah, we made the decision day and you ain't kissed me yet and we ain't getting married. Or we're, and that not, makes or we're not sense. staying married, right? That so, makes sense. Yeah, You've been married right. for two months and you can't even kiss your spouse. And he even yeah. cast your castle, not even a peck on the lips. Yeah, it's not a marriage at that point. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's not. You're yeah. right. Because when she was like, even said no to a peck on the lips, you ain't past cows. Kind of like, yeah, come on, man. You know? So yeah. it's it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I don't know what her deal is. It's totally that. ridiculous. 
Like, and, and she's kind of like, I'm not listening to the people. That's part of your problem. Like, yeah. maybe you need to start listening to some <laughs> right. people. You know what right. I mean? Like, Pastor Cal's there for a reason. You know, like, listen to him. Take his advice. And, you know? and you're not going to listen to, like, your spouse's, like, wants, needs, and everything else? Mm, like, exactly. That's, she, that's hey, very she, selfish. She got him chocolate chip cookies, man. Come on. <laughs> Again, he's being so patient about it. Oh, yeah, he is. I mean, like, man, for now, he basically for now. gave her a deadline. Right, exactly. And maybe maybe he's smart, too, and realizes he's being, fil- he's being filmed and he's setting himself up for success in the future. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> he's but just some work people out. <laughs> probably think like that. Yeah, probably if they're so. smart, but, probably. But, but he seems like he just really is a laid-back yeah. kind of guy who's willing yeah. to be patient, you know? So, God bless him, man. That dude, <laughs> holy cow. You guys want to have sex. Yes. Okay. Just yes for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Just. <laughs> no. You know, eventually. The scooter eventually. Yeah. Just yes. <laughs> yeah. Michaela squint though, man. I, oh, dude, that man. was making me like, cause yeah. he's kind of apologizing and trying, and then she's she's looking yeah, at him with these giving? eyes like, I don't buy your bull. Like, yeah. I don't buy what you're selling like, right you're now. And then he liar. even calls her out, and he's like, What is this look? And even Pastor Cal's like, Yeah. What 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 is going on there? Uh-huh. Well, when Pastor Cal comes in, and he's like, Why you guys are so far apart? Right, right, right. <laughs> and then he like. As, like, she's opening up and being vulnerable is why she's saying, like, she doesn't necessarily trust him and she mm-hmm. feels like these abandonment t- type of issues or whatever. Even though, she, did, even Cal- though she just abandoned him and bounced right. out of the house, right? Uh, Pastor Cal, like, kind of motions him to, like, scoot over and get closer, and that's when she does the whole, like, mm-hmm. He scoots recoil. over, especially as she's talking about her yeah. dad, and then she's like... Oh. And then you can see it in his face. He's like... No, so he's, he's, like, <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, moment's done. He kept yeah. Pastor Cal's like, Pastor Cal's no, like, no, no, time no. out, time out. <laughs> Pretend He's like, nah, man, the moment ain't never done. You guys are married. You got to work this out. Yeah. <laughs> but, man, that was awkward. Oh, yeah. And this is where all the guys get together and the girls, like you were saying, too. And then, like, Zach's kind of bragging about having sex. And then they yeah. ask Johnny, and he's just, like, kind of shocked and stunned and a lot going through his mind. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's when, and that's when he starts basically crying, right? Yeah, like, he breaks Damn. down. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has a, a breakdown. Yeah, it's crazy. And Jose, being the good man he is, he comes and gives him a hug and everything else yeah. to make sure he's good. Yeah, I mean, you know, and like I said, I think they've they've kind of showed us throughout this show, like Jose. I mean, they even said it right, like they got a bromance for each they other, do, right? Like they're yeah. boys, you know. They really dig, you know. They're into, you know, they understand each other pretty well. And uh, so, I mean, Jose's a good friend, man. Like that dude's a yeah. damn good friend. He's awesome. He's an yeah. awesome guy. I mean, oh, yeah. of course, he has his issues, and hopefully, they can work that out. But he's he's a good guy. Oh yeah, yeah. no doubt about it, man. But also, you got you you brought it up that. Um, Oh my god, I forgot his name. Michaela and Zach. Zach said yeah. was bragging about having sex. And when the girls are talking about has anyone had sex? And she's like, Nope. That's nope. a little too much <laughs> private information. And I respect life. that. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but she just she just says I prefer she could have just said I prefer not to talk about it, but she did the thumbs down. Yeah, it's an like, indicator yeah. though, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. bragging, Zach was bragging up. But well, the thing is too, like whenever they were when the guys were talking, right? And Johnny's coming up with his problems, and Gil and everybody's like, okay, man, but hold on now. You know, they're trying to kind of walk him through it. And then Zach's like, no, nah, man, sometimes it just ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I Zach's think like, Zach's, Zach's checking being out. a negative Nancy here, man. It's like, damn. Yeah, I think Zach's checking out. Oh, yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not looking good. No. Yeah. Which is funny because they're the ones who. It's actually, okay, when you think about it, every couple keeps talking about how they mm-hmm. want to get to know each other before they have that intimate moment yeah. you know and they're the only ones that consummated the night of the marriage or mm-hmm. the night of the wedding and look even though even well, I think though Val friend zoned them too early kind of and that's and he's like okay this is how it is i, I can't even look Johnny, at you like yeah. that yeah. yeah well the thing is though so the thing that was kind of really like johnny dude you're a douche was when yeah. they're sitting down with pastor cow and johnny's like man you know you know, and Johnny's like, I don't want to say this, you know, and, and, and Pastor Kyle's like, hold on, Johnny, no, nah, man, you got to say how you feel. <laughs> get it out. And Johnny's like, well, look, you know, when we're together and, like, I make you happy, he's like, you get so giddy like a schoolgirl, and he's like, that just doesn't turn me on. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm just like not a, a child. He's like, I'm just not about that. It's, like, childish. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? Your wife's getting giddy for you. Yeah, that's and weird. You know, yeah, exactly. Super weird. I was, like, I was like, no wonder you're 35 years old and you just went on like 100 dates over the past two years. And, you know, it's like you can't find a woman because it's like. They showed just, the can't. video montage of like some examples. And I'm like, really? And then. But Most guys would be, be happy that their girl's acting that way. What's you know? funny is that they go. They go back to him and he sits back on the couch like he is so relieved to get that off his right. chest as if that's been bothering <laughs> yeah. him this whole time <laughs> like like after that i was like all right johnny i was digging you bro but now you're just a douche i was yeah. like holy crap man like that's bothering you it, it should he be doing these little exact nitpicky every now and then oh yeah big oh, time yeah. you know and even pastor cow's like whoa whoa, whoa. and pastor cow tells him he's like hold on johnny 
Because she's like, well, now I'm going to feel bad, you know, about being myself. Pascal's like, nah, huh? He's like, girl, you be you. Yeah. There is nothing wrong with the way you're acting. He's like, Johnny, the problem's you. He's like, you need to figure this out in yourself because your wife's being giddy for you. Yeah, Johnny, you know? I understand the snoring. I don't understand yeah, the, how, how she's into uh, you. And, like, the snoring is a bigger issue. Right, yeah, right exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't right. like you that. Sleep. I like right. that Ka- Pastor Cal gives him the homework of, like, you try to be giddy mm. yourself. You yeah, know what oh, I yeah. mean? So, yeah. like. And, and he was kind of, like, excited giddy. Like, he's starting to change as this is going on. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Agreed. So, I guess Bao's a good looking girl, man. She's freaking just smart. She's, you know, you know, she seems like she's fun to be around. She's a very good hearted person. And it's like, dude, she's getting that giddy around you. And you're like, oh, no, that's a turn off. I'm like, what the hell? It's like, He's on, trying man. to be like a Seinfeld. He's it, trying to find the one thing that he just can't. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's almost right. like they flipped because he was pretty giddy early on and very positive. Mm-hmm. And then she was kind of opposite. But like, as she's spending more time with him, it seems like it's growing more on her. And yeah. then he's Agreed. starting to change. Yeah. So, yeah, that's crazy, I don't know. man. And then, then they get, and then we go to the housewarming parties, right? And everybody has a good housewarming party. And uh, Johnny gets the book. <laughs> <laughs> what she, is this book? She comes first. She's like, what, he's like, what kind of fruit is this? <laughs> I love that he reads the name of the book, but yet it's blurred out. And then yeah. we realize it's blurred out because of the image yeah, that's right, on right. the book. <laughs> and I love that Bao goes over to her. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, he's like, she's like, is this a relationship book? And the chick's like, yeah, it's a relationship book. <laughs> Yeah. So, and then uh, it gets back to uh, Zach and Michaela. Oh yeah. And dude. Zach just can't let stuff go either. No, dude. No, they had the house from a party, and he was he was like a guest. He walked in yeah. like a guest. He wasn't there help setting it up. It wasn't their house warming. Like. And even even her friends mentioned that. Like, yeah. Where the hell's Zach? Where did I saw where, Where's your man at? You know. So he like, ain't man. feeling it anymore. No, he no. was not feeling it. He, he he had their one incident, and then he checks out. Mm. Well, the well, other incident is that she tried to cancel it last yeah. minute. Yeah, she tried to cancel the house from a party last after they she thought they had gotten past it. Uh-huh. It's like, like I mean, I, I get it. You know, I, I get Zach's issues because there are red flags. There's some big red flags yeah. coming. From yeah, her. I mean, no she overreacted big time. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, she, I mean, she apologized her ass off. I mean, she constantly yeah. apologized. Like, come on, can we please work People this can out? Make mistakes. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's just like, no, nope, I'm, I'm checking out. He's like, I ain't staying the night here tonight. <laughs> I'm bouncing. You know. I'm surprised so his like, family yeah. hasn't been more involved because he seems yeah. to have a good family. Yeah, yeah you know? exactly. So yeah. I, uh, I thought they were going to pull them in, and yeah. you know that would bring I them back. See- to- I see both sides of these arguments from these two. Like, she's like, I've apologized. I've admitted I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, she wants to move past it. But I also see, like, he's seeing kind of true colors of her. And right. he's like, there's just no point in moving past it. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen oh, again. That's your wife yeah. now. So, yeah. so you know. but, yeah, evident, but evidently, you know, and even his friend was telling her, look, you know, in his past, he's had toxic relationships, right? And the girls are just kind of crazy, you know? So, for her doing the stuff she's done, it's remin- reminiscent of all his past, really. And she's like, yeah. Yeah, shit, none of those words. So what makes me believe this is going to work, right? right. So, so well, I it doesn't work sides. if you're not willing to put yeah, exactly. in. Exactly. So. Yeah, and that's what she said. Sure. Remember, she's like, Zach, we're married. You know, we yeah. got to try to work through this. And he's like, ah. He's like, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm to out. my home. He's like, are you staying here tonight? And she's like, yeah. He's like, right, well, I'm not. He's like, I'm not. <laughs> all right. So have your predictions changed now yeah. that we've seen some more? Like Ryan Brett. Oh, dude, Ryan What's Brett? going on with them too? Right, yeah, Ryan and Brett yeah, are, are awesome. They yeah, yeah, haven't consummated the marriage, though. No, they, they haven't consummated the marriage, but I tell you what, man, I, I'm enjoying watching them two grow as, as a couple. Yeah. You know, they're getting along great. I think, you know, I mean, they're done. their dogs are freaking finally getting along right in the house together. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's good. Man. I think Ryan and Brett are going to, as of right now, I think they're going to make it, man. I think this is, I think their relationship is going to keep growing. And Pastor Cal was like, hey, you guys, I'm, you know, they, he seemed happy with the stuff they were telling him about their relationship. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for them, man. I, think I like up. them, and I think that they do very well together. They are very much friend zoned right now. Um, I don't know if their differences are things that they can get past. Like, I also think they're one argument from blowing the whole thing. Up I, that's too, what I'm saying. From Brett's perspective. Yeah. Well, yeah. Agreed. And that argument yeah. would be political, right? I think so. Not even just political, but the lifestyle, like the hunting, the country, like it's one thing to like, okay, I'll step out of my comfort zone for this one activity, but like, that's how he lives she his life. You should be more open to that. Like, yeah, you don't have to fully embrace that, but you got to look at that as a new experience. Let me listen to some country music, yeah, do yeah, this thing. Yeah. I mean, now, obviously, 
no one if you're not in the hunting i don't think they would expect you to participate in that but like right. some dancing country music yeah. a rodeo or something for a yeah. time come on and she, when she's shown she's open to it right she went kayaking with him even though that's not her thing right. you know she's doing things that she's and he's noticing he said look i know she wasn't open to it and she wouldn't do this if it wasn't with me but she's doing it with me he's like and i appreciate it but what does you know, he so. what does she need from him all right and hopefully we'll find that out here yeah you know, as, as the show progresses right and hopefully yeah. he's open to doing her stuff, right? Yeah. You know, whatever she, whatever it is she likes to do, which I don't think we've seen maybe yet. Maybe it comes to politics. You know? Yeah, maybe. Which I he don't. seems pretty flexible with. So. Yeah. <laughs> seems to be a pretty easygoing guy. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, man. But, uh, well, man, who, who was it that had the two dogs, man? They were just, like, going, like, loved each other right off the bat, man. They're, like, wrestling and having a good time when they all... When I they think that was together. Zach and Michaela, wasn't it? Zach and Michaela, who's two... Yeah, it may be. Yeah, maybe it was. Two. It was Zach and Michaela. Yeah. yeah, their dogs loved each well, other, man. Well, they, like, they can be together. I don't think <laughs> Zach and Michaela can be together. The dogs are all about it, right? Yeah. So Gil and Mirla, do they make it? As long as Mirla gives Gil his kiss, I think so. I think so. He's, too. Gil seems pretty happy yeah, with he yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, as far as it's going, which I don't think it's going great, but he's pretty content. I <laughs> love that he pulled up in the ambulance and said, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. lady," or oh, yeah, right. you know, I mean, he's they flirty could maybe with make her. it work. I don't know, but when she walked up, like grabbed his arms. She, yeah. was, she was being lovey with him and stuff on there. So, and, and that's the thing; it's not like they're not lovey. They're there. they're touching each other and cuddling and stuff like that. He just ain't getting his kisses. They right. got the weirdest. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But and, I like and, it, and, and I again, think... he's like the only dude that can handle that, right? So, man, I guess. Agreed. Yeah, I do. Think she she well. needs to hold on to him. Oh yeah, <laughs> <Only> <laughs> right now. Like, she ain't gonna find anybody else to be willing to put up with the way he does, man. Mm-hmm. And I think she understands that, right? She's like, hey, you know, I'm, I, she's like, I really appreciate, you know. You know, Unless you she know, could just so. find a, a, a uber rich man, I guess, or something. Yeah, exactly. Who's <laughs> like, sure, babe, go buy whatever yeah. you want. I don't care. You know? All right. Well, Johnny and. Uh, Johnny and Bell. See, so at the, at, at the very oh. end, so after all this craziness that goes on with those two, at the very end, you know, they're laying in bed together and they're talking and, and they finally seem to be on the same page again somewhat, right? Johnny's like, no, you're right. You know, I think we can make it through this together. So that one. I, I'm I, up in the air yeah, on this it's one. It's 50-50 for me on that one, man. I think it's more like 30-70. They don't. Yeah, maybe. And, and mainly because of Johnny, right? Just because his, his quirks are just like, come on, dude. It's like, you just, there's so much little things that just get on his nerves and it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how you can be with anybody, you know, the, with all the little quirks he has. Are the finances going to overcome Michaela and Jose? Or Rachel I mean, and Jose? Rachel. Excuse me. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Nah, I think they can work together. I, I think those two play off each other well. I think Rachel is open to Jose's ideas and the things he wants to do, right? And I, and I think Jose will eventually open up a little bit more to giving in to her and you know, what she yeah. wants. And I think Pastor Cal was kind of hitting at that too. Like, hey, you guys, you know, you're know, you give, you're going to give and take a little. You're going to give and take a little. And it's going to work. You guys are going to have a great relationship. I think so. And, yeah, and so. I, it would be a real bummer, I think, for her to like just not oh, get yeah. past the finances. Yeah, I think she <laughs> will. <laughs> and Emmy, it's kind of weird too because his finances are like – they are in so in check. It's kind of weird that that's kind of a turn off. I mean, yeah. his credit score. Eight fifteen, man. <laughs> he's in, he's in, I'm he's not in, impressed. He's but in, he, he, yeah, he's in love it's with, on the he's whiteboard. In, he's, in with, he's in love with his credit score now. <laughs> he is. But, I get it. <laughs> right. but here's what mine, I'm interested you know what I'm with them is they've had these discussions, but they have yet to have an argument. Yeah, like, no, they have. I, how do these people fight? Yeah. That's true. You know, and that's you know they're still in like the fight. honeymoon kind of mode yeah. a little bit, I think, but. Maybe they don't. And same don't with Ryan and Brett. They've never had an argument. No. I do wonder how Jose would handle that. Yeah, so do yeah. I. Yeah, I think Jose, when it comes to pushing the show, he's going to be a little more harsh. Because he is a little bit of control, control freak, freak you exactly. know, because he's got his, he he's he's got such a strict regiment and he's he's a doer. I need to get things oh, yeah. done. So yeah. anything to conflict very, with that is going to be an issue. Man, oh, structured. the check boxes. So that so came so back we, up we, at we, the housewarming part. You know, just bringing even a little bit of chaos into that guy's <laughs> structured life, man. He's like, whoa. You know, he's just, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an issue. I mean, he has the picture, and he like keeps saying, "I need the house with the pool table upstairs yeah, and the pool, pool and all this stuff." <laughs> so he's got a vision, right? Well, and the cool thing is though, like he's even open because he mentions that, right? Like, yeah, we can get you know. She's like, you know, my problem is I'm going to move into your house, yeah, yeah. and it's not I'm not going to feel like it's our home. And he's like, well, that's right, because I want to get our home and I want it to be a two story house with the pool. But table. what if she's like, yeah. I don't want the pool table? And then it's like, burp, burp, burp. <laughs> <laughs> like I've had this huh? vision. We're going to have a big enough house. We're going to get whatever. <laughs> you can have your own room too. Yeah. We're whatever you want in your room yeah, yeah exactly. um but yeah i think it's between them it's going to come down to their first art how do they handle yeah. it he right. wants the pool table she wants the pencils yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, like, she'll be lucky if she could get a cup with the pencils exactly. in. yeah but i mean i think i've all a couple though those two have the best chance of making it and then mirla and, and gil probably you know, yeah so 
Mm, sure. Well, it'll be interesting to find out. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and again, we saw a little, uh, looks like there'll be some more drama coming up in the next couple episodes. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So you're getting right. into these. I am. I'm getting finally getting into it. And from what we saw in that previews, it looks like maybe uh, Old Bow and Johnny finally uh, finally sealed the deal. You know, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what that who would think that impact that. (laughs) Well, oh, but remember when they were all having that conversation? They most of them are voting. You know what? I think it's probably gonna be Bow and Johnny. You know? Yeah. But then who was it? They brought in the dark horse man. Old uh, Ryan's like when they're talking about, hey, who do you think's gonna have sex first? And they get to Ryan. Ryan's like, hey man, I'm I'm throwing the guy who's not here with us right now. He's like, I think old freaking uh, you know, uh, what's Michaela and uh, what can I think of his name? Uh, Zach. Zach I, I drew a blank on his name earlier, too. <laughs> Even though the funny thing is they already have done it. They just exactly. didn't do it, right? <laughs> yeah. And only half of them are willing to admit it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Well, there you have it, everybody. That's uh, episodes five through eight down. Uh, they're long, but they're good. You know, yeah. I, I don't like the hour, 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 down, down, hour like 20, 20 minutes. minutes yeah, yeah, hour 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. It's a little too long, but but there was enough drama in there and enough stuff going on. And, of course, Pastor Cal, man, to, to keep you entertained and keep, awesome. you, keep you interested in it. So, hey, please tell us what you thought about the show and uh, hit like and subscribe, and we will check you out our next review. See ya. See ya.